I don't I don't have the right tool for digging. Come, let's have another drink while you still can. Right there, orc scum. No one slips past the Legion unchallenged. Calm down, <laughs> Junius. Does it look, look like one of them orcs to me? <laughs> Not a single orc in sight, you know. Just hold your tongue with you, Bibius. Can't be too careful. We are sworn to protect Scythesil. We're Legionnaires, of course. On the lookout for orcs for they have been attacking from the sea. God knows why they do it, but we stand firm. We of the Legion, liberators of Rivalon. Liberators of liquor too, aren't we, old chum? <laughs> Shh, just pipe down, will you, Bibius? Ever kept the watch? Stood on the lookout for hours on end, bored stiff. Boredom's a demon, buddy. And Booze is the demon hunter. <laughs> there. I do declare it's time for this hunter to take another shot. <laughs> Aye, a noble word for watchdog, that. For that is what we do. Watch over the local dogs that ever so often aim for one another's throat and separate them to keep the peace. Separate by the sword, that is. Best way to calm a wily dog is to neuter it. Ha! <laughs> Spay for pay. Legion's motto. Just put a sock in it, will you, Bibius? So, you're sorcerers, are you? And how are we supposed to verify that's true? We can't read, my friend. So for all we know, those papers say you're a polymorph parrot on the lookout for a two-bedroom birdcage. And you know what? We'll take you two to the wizard. I know he reads. He has books large as a house, that one. Yeah, he'll squeeze the truth out of you, one way or another. <laughs> the wizard, you say? Sounds good to me. Lead the way. Agreed. A wizard is bound to know more about what is going on around here. Kevin, come along. We're not far from the city. Like how to wash your under things. Over you hear? Shh. If the orcs show up, I know I'd have to face the buggers alone. The heat and the drink are getting the better of me. Gosh, I'm both of my sleepy. Don't tell me you're afraid. You should have enough liquid courage in your system by now that you're ready to face an army. Lovely day for a swig and a song, and fare thee well.
Who is that joker leading how those very orcs? curious. Damn train. How very disquieting. Well, Amphibious and Junius. Didn't they hear the fight?
I like you much better with your guts on the floor. One day, comrade, vengeance will be ours. What's all this ruckus? Sounded worse than a dozen tomcats fighting over the world's last mackerel. Ah, but I see we've suffered another orc landing. And judging by the relative ease with which it was dispatched, I can only come to one conclusion. Source hunters have arrived in Sysiel. You're as welcome as a glass of cooled milk on a hot day, my friend. I'm Ahu, at your service. It was I who requested your presence in this troubled city. So you were, and so you weren't. There we are. Meet my other half, Hunter. Ha <laughs> ha! No need to look so flabbergasted. I may be a wizard rife with tricks and guile, but I assure you my plea is an earnest one. So, now that the cat is out of the bag, let us turn to the matter of Councillor Jake's murder. It's hard to put my finger on it, but I can feel in my very whiskers that sorcery was at play. Visit the scene of the crime, and I'd bet sardines for salad you'll say the same. Captain Aureus, though, the local commander of the Legion insists I'm seeing ghosts. I insist he's blind to all but the undead. Jake was murdered in a downstairs room of the King Crab Inn, up in Sysiel proper. The Legion keeps it under lock and key, though, so you'll need Aureus's permission should you want to have a peek. So there are. Or rather, there is. Popular opinion has it his wife did the deed. But to be frank, I have my doubts. She seems a likely candidate, to be sure, but that would make her a sorceress. Esmeralda knows how to charm, yes, but I just don't see her magic extend beyond a frolicsome look and wink. Still, don't simply take my word for it, Hunter. It may be well worth your while to cross-examine her yourself. The Legion has her under guard in her shop near the town square. That's where you'll find poor Jake's widow. A human, you say? Truly? But that would be like a kitten leading a wolf pack. And yet, I have heard rumors about a sect of sorts, a shadowy set of worshippers that associate even with orcs. Some say they're sorcerers, but people will say that about anyone who behaves a bit strangely nowadays. I don't quite know what to make of this news, but thank you for informing me. It'd be foolish to dismiss such a curious event out of hand. Ah, the undead. They've been clawing their way out of the ground for two years now. And for two years, the stalemate between them and the living has been dragging on at a weary pace indeed. The Legion did a good job keeping them at bay, but I think it's fair to say that without my magic-infused ballastay, they'd have gotten the better of us by now. Someone is responsible for the outbreak. Necromancers are at work, but who are they and where do they hide? Alas, that searching for them is like searching for a single louse in a lion's mane. Unfortunately, that is absolutely correct. The orc siege is yet another hairball stuck in this city's already choking throat, and it shows no signs of abating. We've cordoned off the western beach where most orc activity has been reported. For the nine lives of me, I can't seem to figure what they're doing here. There's nothing of interest along the waterfront except for a set of caves with an unfavorable reputation. Maybe they're after some pirate's treasure, the fools. 
Oh, but that's not a trick. It's a blessing. Or does it surprise you that I enjoy taking a feline guise? Such magic is a gift, Hunter. To tread upon the realm of instinct. Even articulate speech, perhaps humanity's greatest asset, cannot give expression to something so inextricably innate. To be out in the night, to stalk on silent paws and hunt with only the moon as your witness. You couldn't, but of course, it's handy to speak in more than meows. And I couldn't brew potions or make machines without opposable thumbs. This I freely admit. Let's just say I have found a way to enjoy the best of two worlds. I'm glad we've met Source Hunter, and I'm certain we have a lot more to talk about. Feel free to visit me whenever you want. I've set up a workshop in the Legion's headquarters. Once you're there, just take the stairs, but do pay a visit to Aureus first. He may bark like a beagle with its tail stuck in the door, but you won't get very far in your investigation without speaking to the de facto leader of Sysil. And with that, I bid you adieu, Hunter. Adieu and good luck. May your enemies prove to be mere mice and you the dauntless mouser. Sorcery, sects, undead, orcs. Oh, looks like we have our work cut out for us. At least we won't be bored. How about we go see that Aureus chap Ahu who mentioned?
in the sea, but I've got the foulest of the lot on my legs. Salutations! Source hunters, I see. I'm Sergeant Curtius, proud protector of this house of Legion goods. This is a storing house for Legion supplies, perhaps the most important building in the realm, by my and others' estimation. Curtius is my name, the Legion... Mate. Mate, he says. We are colleagues, nothing more. Come now, it's just a turn of phrase. Will you please turn your phrases elsewhere? <laughs> when this little charm fades, she'll liberate the flesh from our faces. Come now, enough doom and gloom. Cast your gaze instead upon my fair fanged filly. Ah, who better than a proven orc crasher to convince my dumbbell of a friend here that orcs are predators, not pets. Enough of that. I know how dangerous an orc can be, but this one has been reformed. Anyone can see that she's completely docile, but my prejudiced friend here still wants to kill her. My friend here and I were patrolling outside the city walls, when who did I see? creeping along the shore, but this lovely orcish lady. For a brief second, as, well, as long as eternity, we locked eyes. Perhaps confused by the butterflies in her stomach, she sprang up and began running, claws bared towards Marius. Fortunately for him, I had the presence of mind to ignore my sword and instead adroitly fling my pouch of trinkets towards her. A vial of love potion shattered over her head, and when she turned to face me, she became instantly enamoured. I'm sure she must have been compelled to join the Orcish army under some kind of duress. A lady with such a sweetly savage manner would never willingly join up with those vicious marauders. I can assure you there wasn't a hint of sweetness in those murderous eyes when she lunged at my throat. She may be confined here for now, but who's telling when she'll escape and who she'll rip to shreds? Ah, I've always had an amateur interest in all things alchemical. When I read in an esteemed periodical from the Wizards of Youthful Gore about an amazing opportunity that could change my life, I had to act fast or lose the once-in-a-lifetime deal. I sent away for the world-famous love potion, available for a limited time only, and it has worked exactly as promised. You see what a fool my friend has been, spending all his cash on snake oil and bringing a temporarily tranquilized monster into our midst to boot. What kind of monster would lie in a published advertisement? I'm sure the effects of the potion will be everlasting, as printed. You see, he'd believe it was noon at midnight if he read it on a printed pamphlet. Please tell me you can reason with him, or ditch reason and use your sword to shave him from his murderous darling. Let her live. If that potion were truly worthless, it wouldn't have been able to charm her in the first place. In this docile state, she may prove to be a source of valuable information. You're right. The information she provides could well turn the tides here in Cyseal. Bravo! I trust not only the potion, 
but my scaly sweetheart in and of herself. You're going to regret this. We're all going to regret this. Oh! Avert your gaze, and I'll handle this threat for all our sakes. She wouldn't hurt a fly, and I won't let you hurt a horn on her. This place reeks of orc stench. Steady, boys. Steady. We'll be leaving as soon as we're packed up. Plenty of fish in the sea, but I've got the power of the Say, no one's around. You wouldn't raise a fuss if I, uh, borrowed one of these fish, would you? Borrow, indeed. I'll sooner meet a cat wizard than see that merchant repaid. Come now, I'll be good for it, I swear! I never would have dreamt of resorting to petty theft during better times, but what choice have I got now? If it's steal or starve, I'll choose steal. So what do you think? Should I snag a fish? Cheese, cheese, tomatoes. That merchant has to eat too, you know. Leave the fish alone. Yes, you know what they say about giving a man a fish. This man should learn to stand on his own two feet. <sighs> I suppose you've got a point. Fed a hungry man, you know. That thief is free for now. But I wonder how long it'll be until his growling belly seduces him back onto the crooked path. Thank you for making that would-be thief see reason. I only hope your instruction lasts. The last thing the plagued people of Sicil need is a thief among them. Let's see. Halibut, sheep's cheese, tomatoes. about zombies, do ya? How about walking bones? What are ye staring at? Captain Jack's the name, though the title may be a little generous at the moment. 
my crew ran off, and I can't... Those scallywags are there be silver in the Lakula mines, and they abandon ship like the lily liver turkeys they are. Heavens... Ah, oh, hello, proportionate one. Oh, I can see from the symmetry in your face that you are a great fan of the fine arts, no? we do around here. Hope you fare better, Source Hunter. Don't let that rooster escape. He's already on the menu for tonight. Isn't it a... True story indeed. Perhaps we too can have a bite later. <laughs> that was close. Thanks for catching Fidgety Jack here. I guess he got nervous when I mentioned drumsticks. Uh, let's have that bird then, shall we? Ah, In fact, to do you. Come on now. Beyond these walls, the dead roam free, Hunter. How can the Legion serve you today, Source Hunter? You don't look like you're quite ready to head out into the undead infested wilds to me. Also, 
a party of one or two runs the risk of being outflanked and outnumbered. I'll bring some backup. If Thank you for heeding my... In that case, you'll have the pleasure of putting her down yourself. I wish for you to try and screech, woman. The feral mall, have you? The cretins. Hey, who's that then? Come on, stand where my good eye can see you. Easy, Tull. That's the source hunter you're talking to. She may have the look of a woman if you squint hard enough, but she's no more than a wild animal. We got reports of a strange looking outsider skulking through the town with her bow drawn. I found her crouched behind a tree, taking aim at a fat old rat trotting along the city walls. I tapped her on the shoulder to see what was what, and the beast startled like a wild cat and lunged right at me. Bit Tullia right in the face, she did. It wasn't pretty, and now it's got a chunk ripped off it to boot. Enjoy it while you can, Ver. There's not another legionnaire in the cohort that'll have you if I go rabid. Well, that's to be decided. She doesn't seem to be sick, despite Tully's moaning. We can't keep her... Perhaps it'd be worth taking this stranger under our wing. She'll likely come in handy if we can trust her to watch our backs. After all, a fearless hunter might prove quite useful for our investigation. Well, that's a relief, ain't it? We found a good home for her after all, Tull. Heed me, Source Hunter. She's not good for anything more than cannon fodder. And don't turn your back on her when she's got that bow within arm's reach. Source Hunter, I have heard tales both grand and terrible about the world of humans. I myself was caged one moment and freed the next by your, our, kind. In home forests, every creature acts according to the nature of its kind. Birds frighten easily, badgers fear little. But amongst men, there are no guarantees. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. It is difficult for me to claim humanity as you do. I am still learning to see myself in the faces of those I meet. And though it is strange to stand with one foot in the forest and the other in the city, Source Hunter. I am glad that now I have you standing beside me. Funny, private. Sir, no, sir. The so-called source hunter, eh? Well, look, do what you must in Sicil, but don't make waves and don't interfere with the Legion's affairs, you hear? I'm Captain Aureus, if you must know, leader of the Legion in Sicil, by which I mean I have the enviable task of commanding a battalion of walking dead. For I fear it may well be but a matter of time before the undead undo all my soldiers and turn them into driveling hordes of their own misshapen number. Gods above! Some politician snuffs it and everyone's in an uproar! Ridiculous! I told that wizard brat of an Ahu not to bother, but he just had to send for source hunters, didn't he? Bloody magicians! They see a pigeon poop and think sorcery is afoot. Nevertheless, I want to be kept in the loop, understand? I am in command of this town, not Mayor Cecil, not Ahu, and definitely not some hotshot source hunter. 
So investigate Jake's death if you feel so inclined, but report back to me the moment you discover something out of the ordinary. The scene of the crime is over at the King Crab Inn. You can tell the guard you have my permission to enter. Now off with you! Esmeralda is Jake's wife. Well, well, widow. Everyone in town, down to the crabs on the beach, is convinced she killed him. Now, the girl has the reputation of being a flirt. There is that. But that doesn't suffice as evidence, wouldn't you say? Or do source hunters rely on hearsay alone, perhaps? That certainly would explain some of the cock-ups you lot have made in the past. What? You're going to stand there and claim with a straight face your order never wrongly tortured and executed anyone? Hardly. But I won't stand for such nonsense. If you bring evidence before me, I'll evaluate it with perfect objectivity. The Legion relies on reason, see? Not idle superstition. <sighs> if you must. Bravo! Figured that one out, did you? I haven't been stuck here for two years because we're being besieged by fluffy kittens, you know. Those brain-feasting freaks out there keep on coming, and it takes all the sword arms and all of our Who's half-baked contraptions to keep them at bay. Keeping them... How am I enjoying it? Are you spoiling for a fight, Hunter? Are you? Sci seal stinks of fish, reeks of orcs, and on a good day, the wind disperses the stench of decomposing corpses. I can't remember the last time I had a proper piece of steak, and by now, I wretch at the mere sight of sardines. So, in conclusion, I am not enjoying Sci seal I'd say they are looking for weak spots in our defenses. They can't make an attack over land for fear of Ahu's magical machines, so they're trying their luck by sea. They won't succeed, though. Not against the Legion. Yes, and he also spends most of his time in the guise of a cat, licking God's knows which body parts. Sects, sorcerers. He'll be seeing flying carpets next. We are the pride of Rivalon to be found and to be seen everywhere. We don't hide in the dark and lurk in corners like some I could mention. No, we protect the civilized from the barbaric, and we do so impeccably. Source hunters here too? Well, if the Legion couldn't save this place, what are you gonna do? Attention! About face! To the barracks! Not! The cloaks! That was sloppier than Sicilian skill! Again! <laughs> Those boats will embarrass a bridge troll to get to shining recruits. Sorry, sir. You think that's funny, private? Sir, no, sir. Source Hunter, welcome. Welcome. But certainly, what would you like to know? Oh, I am but a wizard, a guardian of man and beast, and indeed I am both. My body, like any other, is bound to temporal decay, but my spirit is a speck of light that shone forth from the eternal sun that is the cosmic soul. My task upon this earth is to protect the heart of nature, the very antithesis of which is the intrigue spun by demons and directors of the dead. 
Hence my involvement in Sysio. You see, my one desire is to witness a world in which every mother looks around her and purrs with calm contentment. For she knows that her chicks or children, her cubs or calves, will grow up without knowing the meaning of menace, the enfeeblement of fear. To my great regret, none of them purr as yet. Oh, but that's not a trick. It's a blessing. Or does it surprise you that I enjoy taking a feline guise? Such magic is a gift, Hunter. To tread upon the realm of instinct. Even articulate speech. Perhaps humanity's greatest asset cannot give expression to something so inextricably innate. To be out in the night, to stalk on silent paws and hunt with only the moon as your witness. You couldn't possibly imagine the thrill. But of course it's handy to speak in more than meows. And I couldn't brew potions or make machines without opposable thumbs, this I freely admit. Let's just say, I have found a way to enjoy the best of two worlds. Oh, that'll never happen. Granted, a witch could make the polymorph permanent if she'd enchant me and my cat guys, but I'll just have to be careful around witches, won't I? I'm my own wizard, you know, and I don't intend to become anyone's familiar. By all means. Of course. I hope your investigation fares well. I can but piece together what few morsels fell from the grapevine into a rather disappointing meal, I'm afraid. They say a woman arrived in the King Crab Inn sometime after midnight. She retired to a room on the ground floor where she was soon joined by a man who had been nursing the same cup of wine for hours. I say man and woman because both of them were cloaked and recognized by none. About an hour later, another figure arrived, headed for the same room. It took a while for the landlord to pluck up the courage to enter the mystery room. When finally he did, he found Jake there, dead. How and why he came to be there, no one knows. But I had a good look around the scene of the crime before the Legion barred anyone from entering. I myself have none, even though the rest of the town has already mentally tried and convicted Jake's wife, Esmeralda. Now, it may well be established that she is, in fact, the guilty party. I'm not claiming that I'm certain she's innocent, but let's just say that if I really thought this murder case would be so very easily resolved, I wouldn't have sent for source hunters. I can't say much more, but that they're madmen, all the more dangerous to us because of their alliance with what should be a natural enemy. You won't see me teaming up with a terrier in a hurry. Recruits, that was sloppier than Sicilian stew. Again, 